The White House taking steps to assure the public that old Joe is firing on all cylinders. Announced he'll undergo a physical exam, an exam that will not include a cognitive test. And apparently the bar for how old is too old starts with Nancy Pelosi. I think that, again, age is an objective fact. As I say, it's all relative. He's younger than I am, so what do I have to say about his age? Joe Biden has vision, he has knowledge, he has a strategic thinker. This is a very sharp president. Sure, lady. He's about as sharp as his favorite ice cream spoon. <laughs> All right, but the New York Times, they're no better. According to them, everyone attacking Joe Biden over his memory loss is thinking about age in the wrong way. They're comparing him to elderly icons like Paul McCartney, Martin Scorsese, and that shining example of patriotism, Hanoi Jane Fonda. Here with reaction, the host of Fox News Saturday Night. Fancy. Host. Fancy. Jimmy Fallon. That's a big deal. Great to see you guys. I'm jumping into this article. Yes, like, yeah. wait, dude, this is his first time on our show since he's been a I'm host. I'm not blowing. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's not Bye. like he just, no. No, no, I'll take no. it. But the point is, <laughs> wait, I, thank you for the congratulations, Sean. Yeah, and Dagan, I, I know at your core what you're saying. I so haven't continue. been on his show, so we're not It'll talking happen. about it. Just keep going. It's um, coming. This guest essay in the New York Times is by, uh, I'm a neuroscientist, but I was reading it, and uh -huh. the, the neuroscientist is trying to explain it. It's not just about memory. Mm. It's you know, and it's about superficial factors. We're judging Biden wrong, and he refers to Harrison Ford, Paul McCartney, yeah. Scorsese, uh, Warren Buffett as being at the top of their profession. Despite their <laughs> age, I was like, I'm sure Paul McCartney would even tell you, yeah, this is not the top of my profession. Yeah, I don't know that we're watching peak McCarthy, <laughs> nor is he getting on stage. If we're going to compare McCarthy and Biden, McCarthy would be singing Baby You Can Drive My Wet Macaulay because he'd forget <laughs> the end of the song. It's such a scam because what they keep trying to do is conflating the age issue with the condition issue. Like when Nancy Pelosi says, well, he's younger than me. Moses is younger than her. I mean, if we're going to get technical, it's the age issue. If you ran the Carfax on Joe Biden, you wouldn't buy the vehicle, okay? And that's the scam we're running into here. But the problem is everyone who works for Joe Biden says he is brilliant, he's yeah, sharp, again, and he's smart. I, I, uh -huh. But everyone else, we watch him and go like, that's not what any of us see. So no if, one if have ever seen that Biden. Right. So, it's like we have a, you know the old, we have a, I have a girlfriend, but she doesn't live around here. Right, exactly. Like we have a sharp president, but he doesn't live around here. But you could put it, maybe not to bed, but you might go, listen, we can fight back on this, these accusations of he's not sharp if if you do the cognitive test. Yes. But they're too smart. They don't want him to have oh, a cognitive test. They're not test. letting him near that test. No. You know the answer to that. I'm going to keep saying these three letters, M-R-I. All they got to do is give him a brain scan. Thank you. And just, what does the, what's just, the no. scan look like? What does the MRI look like? That's that, all the American people just need Just say to know. the word MRI to him, and he'll think it's MIT, and he'll be like, it's a good school. I love it. <laughs> all right. Let's Take do this. It. All right, let's go to this. Never underestimate the, cl the climate cult's propensity to ruin everything, Jimmy. According to the Washington Post, giving roses on Valentine's Day or any day for that matter, it's a bad idea. Why? Because climate change, of course, Jimmy. That's right. <laughs> Quote, the race required to provide a mass-produced bit of nature contributes significantly to the destruction of nature itself. They're angry that these are grown around the world and they're like quickly cut, put on planes and flown to the U.S., and they don't want you to share love through roses, Jimmy. Yeah, these people are miserable, but I do want to thank them they for are. giving all the deadbeat husbands like me an excuse this Valentine's Day. It's like, honey, I would have loved to have bought you flowers, but the climate. I mean, there's not a lot I can do with the climate change. But understand what this is, okay? Nobody cares about climate change on the level they want us to, so they have to tie it to things that might matter. Valentine's Day, you know, your stove, you dig. It, but it always needs a cosigner because we don't care. And the only reason they're making this study up for Valentine's Day is because no one's buying them roses. These are miserable people. You know, when people say, like, oh, I won't reproduce because I'm too concerned about the climate, it's because no one will bang anyone that's that insufferable. Whoa, whoa. That's why, sorry, I know. I'm a 10 o'clock host, don't forget. <laughs> um, I should have said screw. I'm thinking about all the people, the individuals and businesses that grow flowers for yeah. a living. Yeah. And they have garden shears. Mm -hmm. These are the very people you do not want to mess with. <laughs> Those yeah. guard, you know what I'm thinking about? Uh -huh. Yeah, garden yeah. shears. No, no, I dig it. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's just like uh, an oyster shucker. Yeah. Generally. One of the reasons why when you look at studies, conservatives are more happy than liberals. Maybe it's because they don't want to give flowers. Yeah. Who knows, Jimmy Fela? Ruining everything. But you're going to give uh, 
candy instead of flowers, and then every woman on the planet is going to think that you're trying to make them heavy because you're, you're cheating on That's them? That's how you keep them. Listen, as the trophy husband, the gifts come my way, so Jimmy I'll let Fra Jenny sort it out. Jimmy Fiala, congratulations <laughs> on the new show. I'll be sure you can turn this on the battle line as awesome. No, it's... A I'm excited. That's I'm what not going to keep. No, no, you got nothing. Get us out of this. this is <laughs> All right, we're done with you, Jimmy. Thank you. All right.